think the main the main thing when, when you get an opportunity to literary book is to um, read the text and go through it several times over a number of weeks, maybe the odd month or two as well, and um, let it stew and bubble away in your mind. My initial uh, urge to highlight something does usually mean that that's what I tend to stick with. So what jumps off the page at, at me as an image, I tend to stick to. Some things you just imagine straight away and you think, I wonder, wonder if you'll stay like that when you do a rough. And then again, some of the roughs don't change very much at all. And to the, to the final piece, only adding the color or maybe tightening up some of the drawing. But yeah, that, it was a very enjoyable book to do. Well, every book you do, um, you get a little bit better, not in a conceited way, but you, you it's that trusting yourself. You can't wait to draw the, the characters um, just as they are doing something and then the background or interior or exterior comes in later. You just, I just want to quickly get through and draw the characters. That's a fun bit. And um, the backgrounds, of course, take a bit more thinking about and uh, planning and they, they, come, they come later on. And um, it's very liberating when you do the larger illustrations and um, because you've got, um, you've got more hand gesture. The smaller the illustration, the, the not more technical you have to be, but I'm working in pen and wash, and colour wash, if I make a mistake, I've uh, probably got to start again, if it's a terrible mistake. So it's not like working on, on the, the Mac or something where you can just go back a few steps. It's kind of, um, it's traditional really. So yeah, once you start putting the colour wash on, you're just feeling your way through it and just, you're thinking what it might look like rather than anticipating. You're just hoping it comes out right. Yeah, I do. And it's a double page spread where Mozart and Beethoven are at the piano and they're playing a duet. So the top right hand side relates to Mozart being ha having a happy marriage and then below is uh, Beethoven sort of being swept away in a breeze with all his music and, and grasping and trying to catch the hand of his um, dearly beloved, you know. That's the Paris scene, of course. And um, back then, the Eiffel Tower wouldn't have been there. But on the far right, I did put in the Moulin Rouge. On Mozart's door, yeah. I had, I've got about five or six versions of that. And because he's such a... Um, an amazing guy and such a flash uh, character of his times. There are a few little scary things. It's a bit darker, this one, isn't it? It's hard to make that look a jovial experience and place to be, isn't it? The guillotine. 